Hello, hello, hello. Today is Throwback Thursday, and I'm so excited to be before you again. Today, I wanted to talk about withholding nothing. What have you withheld from God? What have you tried to attempt to hide from God? Has it been shame, um, unforgiveness, doubt, your mistakes, uh, guilt, past hurt? I've tried to hide those things from God. I don't know why I tried to, but I have done that. I kind of like felt like, why am I going to continue to go to God with these things over and over again when I've made so many mistakes that he's probably tired of me coming to him for these same old things. So I held myself captive and all I did was made myself available for the devil's playground because all he did was replay those things over and over in my mind to the point that it just drew me further and further from God. But I'm here to tell you today that God wants us to cast all our cares on him according to Psalms 55 and 20. God um, doesn't want us to hold on to our past and allow it to keep us from bringing it to him and laying it at his feet. He want us to bring our everything to him. He wants us to surrender it to him. I looked up the word withhold and withhold means to refuse to give and nothing means um, the absence of anything. So withholding nothing means to give everything with no holding back. And that is exactly what God wants us to do. He wants us to give him everything and hold nothing back. That's the type of God who we serve. He's like, he's our father. Can you imagine um, someone knowing something that you needed to know and then they held it from you and then you wasn't able to proceed or to be successful because they held something important from you well it's kind of like that with God when we hold when we withhold things from him he's not able to do fully what he is capable of doing in us because we're holding it back and he's a God that allows us to um we he we we have free will so we don't have to bring it to him but it makes it so much better when we can bring everything to him and lay it at his feet. Um, Ephesians 3 and 20 talks about um, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power within us that is within us to him be the glory through Christ Jesus throughout all generations. So God has a master plan and God can do far more than we could ever guess, far more than we can ever request of him and far more than we can ever dream. He doesn't pressure us and he doesn't push us. He just wants us to bring it to him so that he can give us everything that we need and he can work within us deeply and gently. Um, God wants us to recognize that our abilities, our gifts, our skills, our accomplishments, and influence, that he wants us to pledge those things and bring it to him to be used for his glory. He also wants us to recognize that our faults, our burdens, our mistakes, our weaknesses, um, he wants us to lay those things out before him so that he can work them out for us and help us through them. So basically, Jeremiah 29 and 11 says that, um, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future. He also says in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, that he wants us to uh, trust in him with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding but in all our ways to acknowledge him so that he can direct our path so basically if we just lay everything at his feet he can direct us he can teach us and he can help us and he blessed us with the gift of the holy spirit that will guide us 
and lead us and speak to our hearts to help us to do what is right and help us to recognize when the enemy tries to bring those things up against us that we've done in our past that we don't have to fall for those things and we don't have to replay them over and over but we know that we have a God who has forgiven us who laid down his life for us so that we can have life to live and to be an example to bring others to him. So today I just wanted to talk to you about what have you withheld. I posted a picture um, earlier part of this week. And it showed, um, it says God can do anything. And in that picture, there was a room and it was tore up. It was destroyed. It was kind of like condemned. And that's how we, some of us see ourselves. And so we, we, because of how it looks, it looks ugly. It looks just tore up and tore down. It should be tore down. Um, God doesn't look at us like that. He can fix us, but he just wants us to bring it to him. So it was just like we would just take those ugly things and take them and leave them at his feet that he will help us and fix those things for us. So do not withhold anything from God going forward. Have a blessed day. Thanks for tuning in to Life Chronicles with Yolanda. Please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. Have a good day.